All right, now we're going to move on to the ND and color grads. Now, we all know in the digital age, we can put our power window and we can grab a beautiful sky and take it down. Okay, we all know that we have that technology. I still use grads and attenuators with my digital because there's some times when I really want to see those clouds in a backlit scenario and the digital sensor is not going to handle it. So you're going to lose all that cloud detail. They're just going to blow out and there's not going to be anything to bring back because it's going to be clipped. Well, with film, you can use specific grad filters to be able to help this process. And if there was one filmmaker that was the grad meister, it was Tony Scott. He would grad everything and he was so outrageous with it, he didn't care if he panned or tilted or whatever. If you saw the grad, it was all good. And that was his kind of experimental filmmaking. And we're going to dive into a lot of his films because he was one filmmaker that pushed the boundaries to the extreme. And that's what I loved about him. So we're going to start with specific types of grads. Let's start with a hard grad. So this was Tony Scott's favorite filter. Okay, you saw it in Top Gun. It is called the tobacco. Right, and you can see it's a hard edge. You're going to see my eyes being half and half there, right? So this is a hard edge grad. So if you had a line of city uh, buildings that were all kind of the same uh, height, you could really dial in that hard grad. If you had a hillside that was fairly even and didn't have too much undulation, you could go in and use a hard grad. But sometimes that would really show itself. So then we can go to a soft grad. So this is a tobacco soft grad and you can see how here I am clear and now I'm starting to dive into the deeper tones. I'm going to go with our soft. So I'm going to pop this out. All right, and we'll do the, the, the soft, not the hard edge. You can see right here that there is gears on this because Obviously, if you're doing a lock off, you can set the grad perfectly. But what if you want to tilt and pan? Well, you're going to see the grad just wipe across the whole image as you tilt up and actually land it. But not if you have a geared map box. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this down in here. Okay. And now I am going to bring this around like this and my AC would basically dial up. And this is why I talk about using six by six filters because you have more glass, you have more range of travel, right? So now I can raise this filter tray up. You can kind of see it rising up because I'm on this whip. Okay, so say I started tilted down like this and now I'm going to tilt up and as I tilt up, I would slowly bring this geared, you can kind of see it in here, I would slowly bring that down to match exactly where the hillside was and that hot sky that I was taking down. 